Hi and welcome to the devlog. As you can see, the project has changed quite a lot since the last devlog. The main reason is that I've found more time and a routine for the project, and also my good friend Jon has had also had way more time to work on the project. And uh, let me tell you, he's been a huge help with the level design. He's been creating levels and giving feedback and also just giving ideas in general, and it's been super helpful. We've had multiple discussions about the things in the game, which has uh, felt incredible and basically boosted my productivity. And we actually have a name for the game now, which is awesome. And well, well, the game's name is not awesome, but the game's name is actually Gora. And you Finnish people out there probably realize that it's the Finnish name for Claw. And you're correct. <laughs> Uh, basically, I was so stuck with the name, but uh, then I decided to just uh, name it Gora, and then it kind of stuck with me, and also got quite good uh, good feedback about the name, so I just decided to leave it like that, because, yeah. Which takes us to the probably most noticeable difference, which is the main character of the game. You remember the wit from the last devlog? Well, you know what, it's scrapped. <laughs> so, now we have this kind of uh, possessed hand that has a mind of its own, which I really like. So instead of having the man as the main character, we actually have the hand, who is the main character, and the man is just the vessel for it. And the player character now feels a lot more interesting, and we can actually be more creative with the game design, and also it fits the story a lot better. So I had a rough idea about the story, I knew how it started, and I knew how it ended, and I also knew somewhat what would happen in the midway, but I hadn't really thought about anything else yet. So. We decided to have this kind of uh, brainstorming session with Jona, and uh, we actually managed to get an idea for each chapter of the game. And there are actually six chapters going to be uh, in the game in total. I also looked at the notes from the brainstorming session, and which uh, contains amazing <laughs> quotes. Uh, let me show you one of the multiple masterpiece lines from there. Character X is the mess he's made. Goop. Everything is burning and all is fucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't wait for that. But, but yeah, anyway, uh, you have to trust me. I, I, I think I'm, I'm pretty proud of the story, but you have to trust me on that. But anyway, the game is split up into six different chapters, and we thought that the character could have one new skill per each chapter, which is actually quite a lot, but I think we can manage that quite well. And also each chapter will have some extra blocks, which kind of spice up the gameplay a bit. And... Right now we are just focusing on the first chapter, just getting it right, uh, where the character has this kind of a grappling hook mechanic, which you can use the grapple to a wall or a ceiling from a long distance, and after that you are able to bounce into any direction you want. It, fe it felt like a good solid mechanic to start with, because if you are introduced to the hand, well, I think we should be able to do something with the hand. After we had decided the other five skills, it felt like we wouldn't even need the swinging for the game. Probably. But yeah, remember how I said that the swinging is going to be the main mechanic? Well, you know what, that's also scrapped. <laughs> so, but uh, the skills simply just felt a lot more interesting and we wanted the actual character skills to be kind of the main mechanic instead of some environmental blocks, uh, if that makes any sense. So the new character has some animations and let me tell you, I just love blending animations. I feel like it's so easy to create one simple animation for each direction, for example, and then just uh, kind of blend between them. Uh, but what I don't love is the Unity's humanoid rig, and I tried to bash my head against the wall for hours to get it to work, but without success. The character was basically always just glitching, or have having his legs twisted in some inhuman ways or something. But uh, thankfully I've found a way to actually use a generic rig with an avatar so we can actually be able to use the avatar masking. Uh, where I just ma manually set the transforms for it and it just worked flawlessly, uh, saving me from a lot of headache. Uh, there's also been some improvements to the level generator, such as the brush size, uh, direction, new blocks and whatnot. And also there's now this kind of uh, camera area that blocks the camera from going outside the level's borders. It's cool and all, but introduced a new problem with the camera's perspective, where if you are in the far edges of the screen, it's kind of hard to know what the player is going to hit, but that's a problem for the later video. 
Whenever I saw Yona making the levels, I was pleasantly surprised by the speed that we can make the levels, actually. Uh, it's, it's an amazing feeling to actually see your tool being used by someone who can actually create levels. I'm actually starting to feel hopeful for the project. And at first I thought that the sixth chapter is probably going to be too much, which still is quite a lot, but now I'm actually starting to think that we can actually do some extra levels too. But yeah, we have some ideas for that, but yeah. It's gonna also be in the later videos. There's also been a lot of different discussions regarding uh, collectibles uh, and secret areas and all that. And I, of course, I love those kinds of things in uh, pretty much every game. I would like to give this kind of a normal experience for uh, for people who just want to enjoy the story or enjoy just, just some normal difficulty uh, levels. But I also want to give the people who want to challenge themselves a bit, just challenge themselves in more ways. We have also given the game to some of our friends to test out and get some feedback from them, which has also been very helpful. And we have been doing some little tweaks and uh, changes to kind of suit the feedback and try it out if they work better now. The kind of the next challenge for me is that I'm going to be experimenting with uh, different art styles for the game. I'm kind of sick of uh, looking at this kind of uh, uh, hot garbage. We want something elegant, we want something simple, uh, not too, too much details, but also just good enough to look pleasing to the eye. I also created a Discord channel, so if you come, wanna come hang out and talk about the game, or if you wanna give feedback or ideas, just feel free to come, come join us and just, yeah, let's talk, that, that would be great. And yeah, I think that's basically the uh, the biggest changes for for now. There are of course there are going to be different things that I forgot to say, but uh, at least you can ask them in Discord <laughs> if you if you feel like it. But yeah, I'm right now I'm super stoked about the project. I feel like we've been very productive so far, and we'll keep on working on it. Anyway, yeah, thanks very much for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the later video or Discord. So yeah, see ya.